Hello, everybody, all over the world. See you all next week. Just kidding. Man, welcome to High GPS. I gotta take these off because my screen is very dark. Can't really see all that much. But welcome to High GPS 182, Ooh, the classic. A weapon. Oops, sorry. That we already had in the game. A weapon we already had. What are you talking about? Well, in order to better understand this weapon, we need some history, right? You need to have played Team Fortress Classic, and if you haven't played Team Fortress Classic, this is the rifle that was from Team Fortress Classic. Only that in Team Fortress Classic, the gun was good. So I lost all my con- I lost all my, uh, save the queen. my config files, so I'm gonna have to, whoop, to, uh, fix this eventually, because I lost all my configs, I just realized, but that's okay. So we're just gonna go bot 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 bot. We have a lot of bots. Only need uh, the uh, the blue guys though. So uh, let's let's bring out the uh, like the the discussion right for the old Team Fortress Classic rifle. The old classic yeah. Team Fortress Classic rifle. Sh shut up. The old rifle required you to hold down the mouse button, and then when you let go, you shot. And it's pretty much the same as the classic here. You hold on and you shoot, and it's, it does a headshot damage if you land on the head, regardless if you're on the scope or not. However, this forced kind of a change with the layout of Team Fortress 2, because grenades were removed and stuff like that, so they decided to change the sniper. And now, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how this rifle works, but if you shoot people in the head, it doesn't do headshot, unless you scope and you have the dot, and you headshot, and yes, there you go. So that was like the whole idea, you can't headshot while you're not out of scope, and then... The developers of Valve, when they decided to, to include unlocks and stuff, they were like, yeah, let's work on something that we had in Team Fortress Classic and implement it. And that resulted in the split and the result in the Huntsman, because the Huntsman is essentially the old sniper rifle from Team Fortress Classic without the scope and just added an arc mechanic to it. We already have the Classic, you see? The Classic already... Oh, whoops. The Classic already... Damn it. The Classic already existed... In the form of the Huntsman. So why... Why is it here? We, we, all, we already have it. We already have it. It's here. It's this one. This is the classic. This was, this was the other half of what didn't get implemented in from Team Fortress Classic. Looks like. This is what it is. Alright? Not... Not this. Not this horrible disaster of an attempt at an unlock. Jesus. This weapon is terrible. All right, so, um, quick demonstration. Can't headshot. Can't headshot. Okay, we have to wait. 
And then we can headshot. Yeah, and they splat. All right, but hey, look at this. We can be inside of the scope and do this. Oh, let's headshot him. You can't. And whatever happened, if you're, uh, you know, charged up like this and somebody knocks you in the air and you shoot, you lose all your charge. At least with, you know, the Huntsman, if you charge it up and you get knocked in the air, still you can't shoot. Let's see. Got knocked in the air and you shoot, you can still keep your charge and you still have this. But they thought, you know, that might be too good, so let's just not, because this weapon is like a tourist, because you can charge, and you can see stuff. And that's it. It's bad at everything, all right? Like, there can be some incentive to use different unlocks. It's like, yeah, I should, you know, the enemy has blah, so it will make it easier for me if I go blah. And blah being a various weapon of choice here, so... Let's take a look at a take here and see what it looks like from another player's perspective before we go into, like, the, the whole analysis part of this weapon. Here we go. Okay, scope. Unscope. Scope. Let's go. There you go. That's a shot. It also leaves a tracer, so it gives away your position. Can't. It's hard to tell if you're charging or not. All right. And that was a charged shot. So let's do some strafing. All right, doing some strafing. And all right, so it looks like we crapped our pants when we do this. Yep, there we go. Stops us when we do the no scope body shots. And yeah, this looks great. Can't see this animation throwing you off. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Yeah. And you can still do the crouch jump and do the remain your charge as long as you don't fire in the air. Not really a problem, but you can do it regardless. And uh, yeah, like this. Like, just looking at this weapon shows you why they implemented the Huntsman and not this weapon. But now, I th like, I think on the Team Wars 2 team, I just think, this is just a theory, I have no uh, proof of this. I think the guy that fixed the lock and load, and the guy who chose the stats to the classic, never talked to each other at any point ever. They're so disconnected and so far apart from each other. One is really good and the other is just terrible. There's no way they will have that communication because the guy who fixed the reload animation would never allow for such stuff to happen. So let's go into gameplay. You know, this is gonna be Shanghai, this guy here. He's gonna be using us, using us the nice, good take two. He's gonna be using the classic right here. One thing that is important to note about this weapon is that it does less damage. I don't remember, I think it's 20 or 10 or 10%. Wait, actually, we can check this because we have the time and we have the technology. Let's take a look. Look at the classic. Oh yes, 10% damage on body shot. And you will always body shot until you're fully charged. So, minus 10% damage on every shot until you're fully charged. That's the gun, all right? Less damage. If you wanna do less damage or the same, it doesn't do any more, it does exactly the same, you use this thing, because this thing is less or the same, only worse somehow. So when you kill people, we saw this before, they go splat. Yes, all right, cool, that's fine. Did that in the old game as well, that is just like a mechanic, a uh, pure cosmetic feature. And another one gets the no scope headshots, you know, which you can brag about on forums and people will respect you for it, you know. And then he does the walking around and the scoping. Keep in mind that when you're scoped, you still keep your uh, scope thing. So if you're scoped, you only see like this area right here. And of course, you should use, if you decide to use this monstrosity of a weapon, you should absolutely use the SMG because the SMG is better in every way than the primary weapon because it's, there's, there's no reason to use it ever. It was like, whoa, whoa, but, hey, listen, GPS, you're missing the most important part. You get to see around and you can unscope and still keep your charge and see people coming. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you will hit them. Just because you see more doesn't mean that validates this weapon having the stats they do, because this is just bad. So this is going to be um, me, I think. There we go, and my camera hat and everything. 
So I'm gonna be watching the cart here. And of course do the jump and unscope and do the stuff. Keep in mind that all I can see is this area right here. So if I wanted to, you know, I can do like, oh yeah, I can unscope and see here very easily, or I can just look over here and go back, which is what the normal rifle is, which is what I would recommend in every single situation. I have not been in a single situation where this weapon came out on top. Oh, I, it was right in front of me. I hit him, killed him. Might have missed, might have died. And now I can't hurt that heavy or kill him until I've done a full charge. And there comes a pyro, and he's going to force me back into the spawn. Had I had a regular level rifle or the ability to do headshots, I would have killed him, but I killed him later regardless because the pyro positioning was poor. Let's see the guy, and boom, take him out with a headshot. Would have killed him faster with the other rifle. Or any other rifle. Because somehow this weapon is worse than the Sydney Sleeper. And the Sydney Sleeper can't headshot. Also taking out guns. Taking out them minis. It's important. Leaving tracers, making sure everybody can see where we are, because being able being able to see people out of scope with a full charge really warrants people being able to locate you every time you shoot and doing less damage all the time. Fire runs into us, and we're burning, and we're gonna try and retreat, and uh, we are fine. We're hanging out around the sentry. He's waiting for stuff to move on. Let's see him in the top window. Oh, he was right in front of us when we missed. Yeah, I'm really glad I spent all that time on that charge. And also, this weapon has damage spread, so sometimes, after a full charge, and you're gonna be like, Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a body shot now. I'm gonna be doing, you know, 140 or something. It does 118. Alright, it does... It does, like, 12 more than a rocket. Which is terribly bad compared to every single other rifle in the game. There you go. So, but people are like, well, you can be closer because you can unscope and stuff. Yeah, if you're going to be closer, use the Huntsman. The Huntsman's really good for being close. And really bad at being far away. This gun is bad at close and bad at far away. So, just because we see them doesn't mean we hit them. And when we miss, we have to spend more time charging. And yes, we got the headshot on the heavy. We're just standing around hoping to God nobody comes. All right, and this is the spy. That's okay. Hanging out. Also, this weapon is worse at no scope body shotting because you stop when you run. But you can run inside the scope and do uh, tiny bits of damage to your opponents. That indeed you can do. Doing the charge. Tank hit stuff. Enemies all over the place. Can't really do all much. I should be in the back, but. Look at this team composition. Not very good. Oh no, it's in crits heavy. You gotta charge the shot. Charge, 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 charge. Okay, I spent a lot of time on this charge. I haven't done anything. I'm looking around. Is there anyone to shoot? Not really. Hmm. Okay, okay, I have to shoot and just let my charge go. And grab the health. And charge again. Is there anyone up there? No. Because once I start to charge, I can't really reposition myself and keep the charge. Because I'm working really slowly, but at least I got a kill on a guy on a window with a gun that doesn't hurt the buildings he was shooting at. So at least that's good. At least I got that going for me. This weapon has the same symptoms, or at least suffers from the same thing as the Razorback does. Good game sense nullifies the good grades about this weapon. Like, with the Razorback, if you have extremely good spy sense, you will know whenever the spy is going to come and get you, Emily will turn around and you will kill the spy every time. This weapon is not very good because the SMG does more damage because it it's actually a pretty good weapon, but you stop whenever you shoot and when you stop you're easier to hit and all that stuff. So that was some usage or of defense, but here is what most people's experience with the Classic most likely would have been like because the Classic it's not very good because the old classic in Team Fortress Classic, I actually went back in time and played Team Fortress Classic. I played on a two fort server because that was like the one server they played. And I played Sniper and the gun is really powerful, alright? It has the same feature but it's good, it's strong and this thing is just poop in comparison. 
So here we go, try and scope, and this is the shot, and we're already in the scope, and we see a sniper. Can't quick scope him, even though he's standing completely still, and we miss anyway. He still hasn't spotted us. Okay, we shot him in the body, and, uh, and we shoot him in the body, and we should... Okay, he gets taken out. Three body shots should, should kill a sniper, I think, even with the 10% uh, damage uh, reduction here. Staying in the front. Like, you want to snipe something. Okay, there we go, and... Uh, ah, missed. Damn it. All right, um, it's a charge. Do the charge, and... Oh, it's a sniper, and... Ah, yeah, we got him, we got him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, we got it, we nailed it, because we're good. We got an awesome moment. Things are looking up for us. And let's see here, oh... Shoot the sentry, and we're dead. So, yeah. So people go like, well, you know, like some people in the chat, well, seeing more helps. Alright. Let's see if seeing more fucking helps. That's me on defense, by the way. There we go. I forgot to credit the other guy. Well, you know who you are. It doesn't matter. This gun's terrible, anyway. So, alright. What can we see here? Well, if we're scoped, we see this. Which is pretty much everything we see, and there's... Not really anything to see. Okay, we unscope, and there's still nothing to see, and we unscope, and there's still nothing to see here. So now we're in a spot, which you will most likely be whenever you're here, is that when you're on scope, you see just as much as you would if you're scoping. It's just like people are faster. And here, if we didn't have the stupid gun, we would have been able to kill that sniper, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna be charging, we're gonna be assisting our head, we're gonna be jumping, and ah, kill a pyro, yes. And here. I thought I saw a Demonite coming, but I guess he's not coming over. Oh, yeah, right, there he is, there he is. Uh, bring out the thing. And, oh, I got killed by the sniper who I was supposed to have killed, I think. Where is he? Yeah. I got killed by the guy I couldn't kill because I wore this gun. Good. <laughs> We're also going to be seeing an example of just because that you're able to look around you doesn't mean that everybody will. So it's like, well, you better look around more with this gun, and then people just don't. Because it's not really in the sniper's nature to look around all too much. So we're doing the charge, doing the charge, 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 defending on steel. Oh, misses the headshot. Oh, the humanity. Let's waste some more time. Misses again. Let's get him this time. I think we hurt him ever so slightly. Oh, there's... Yes, we got him. It's not a bunch of gibbs. Feels good. Oh no, here comes the heavy. But we have Crit Creek. And they're dead. And they have to point somehow. Is there a sniper? Ah, oh, yes, there's a sniper. And tried to kill him, but our heavy friend punches him in the guts. Everything is good. Alright. Okay, so we're defending, standing on the high ground. We'll make it harder for spies to stab us, actually, because if we're. If we're like this, it's a bit uh, more uh, difficult to spy, because it will be more uh, suspicious to others, I guess. So we're just looking around and uh, trying to get this pyro. Oh no, a scout! Shot him in the foot. Very nice, though. So there we go. Hanging out. I want to high five before my health packs up. Yay! There we go. Alright, let's return here. See, this is baiting, right? I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm just a sniper, you should come and get me. There you go, killing the sniper asshole who shot us earlier. Oh no. Getting a scout as well. Could have used any other rifle and I would have achieved better results. All over the board. Would I have splatted? No. But I would have killed them. And they wouldn't see where I was. Ah, look at this. Okay. Oh god, there's a bunch of blues and pre-detonation from the, the demo. Let's slow it down because this is going to be a pretty tough shot to make. Let's see what happens. Our demo man is in trouble. Let's save him. Do, 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 do. Aim for the heavy. I meant the medic. Totally meant the medic. I got the medic, guys. Just as we planned all along. 
And I will hold this area and I will shoot anyone that I'm dead. There is an, an example of not being able to shoot while in the air, how much that cripples you. Because if you have a full charge and right as you're gonna shoot somebody, you get launched in the air, you can't do jack shit about it. Oh, so point. oh shoot the pyro in the butt. Nice heavy and shoot him in the head. Yep, there we go. He's doing his splats all over, and that's nice. Charging, 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 and... Oh, there's a demo! There's a demo, man! Quickly! We need to fix the field of view. And... Whoops! Walking off the edge, and... Ooh, I... Uh, can't shoot. Ow. Alright, I fell, and try to shoot again. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Let's take a look at that again. But seriously, high GPS, you should explain that you have to manually unscope and shoot while scope in. Yes, I just did. Thank you. Thought it was obvious, but maybe it wasn't. So here we are. We're doing the charging, because here we have the laser. We're like, alright, jump up here. And here's the demo. Quick, uh, just, ow, oh. Darn. There's a couple of things that doesn't make sense in Team Warriors 2 that they haven't fixed. So that snipers being able to jump while in the scope breaks the sniper. Sniper versus sniper. Hasn't been fixed. Crouch jump glitch. Makes you glitch up and down when you crouch in the air. When you're in the air, you press crouch, you go like instantly. Not fixed. The Eureka effect being absolutely fine gets nerfed the shit out of. Valve has really lost their touch with what works and what doesn't. I mean, taunts and stuff, yeah, it's fine, whatever, but, mm. Also, then you have this weapon, you know, it's like... Always less damage or the same. But you get to unscope and not really hit your target, because you're not going to be scary because you're going to do less damage every single time, and you're going to be having to rely on your SMG to get most of the kills. Luckily, some scouts hit you with the Rap Assassin to show you some mercy, to just inform you that your primary weapon is absolutely butt shit. So, what, like, whenever I examine a weapon, it's like, well, well, what does it do well? Like, what does it do? And the answer is nothing. It does nothing well. Because this, because like I said earlier, we already have this weapon in two different forms. There is no need for this weapon. It is like if we got a new weapon that is the Wrangler and the Short Circuit in one weapon. And it doesn't wrangle or sh short circuit very well. It does neither. This is basically what we got. Like, it would be a wrangler that makes the sentry able to shoot projectiles. Or something. There you go, there's a new unlock for you. And it does less damage faster. That's also pretty... That's also a valve thing. Hey, let's have it do less damage, but shoot something faster. Like the Liberty Launcher. Jesus. Anyway, we're now going to be attacking on the map here, which is upward, which is a really good sniper map. However, due to that our sniper rifle fucking sucks, we're not going to be able to do too much about it. So we're just going to go and try and body shot people, because if we want to be absolutely sure that we can guarantee a kill, we have to wait, whatever is it, three seconds, two and a half, four, something like that. We have to wait for a while, and we can't really battle any other sniper. Luckily, we have a pretty competent team that carries his own speed. Oh, look, a soldier! Well, we killed him, because he just... Literally spawned and we were fully charged, so that was absolutely lucky for us. And let's shoot the scout in the butt. Yes, there we go. Do the splats all over. And, uh, yeah. One thing that I really find annoying is that they haven't made a default that you have to manually re-scope after every shot. Because by default, if you start team... Oh, look at that! Summer's hole! Did a summer's hole. If you play with a regular sniper, the stock sniper, and you haven't done anything with your settings, your gun is gonna re-scope after every shot unless you jump. Why that is in the game, I have no idea, because when I've been watching Valve servers, that always bites them in the ass. Like, they try to scope, and they shoot, and also they're like, they scope, and they shoot, and then they're like, oh, I missed, I better run, and then, like, it goes down, and then it goes up again, and they're like, wait, why, why is this up again? I don't understand, and then they die. 
And Val's like, we're going to make that an, an advanced option. Huh. Because we know what's best. Just look at how we fix the Eureka effect. Because we know what we're doing. So, this is not me. This is... This guy? Keeps on meow. I think. Yeah. He's gonna be using this, and he was like, Yeah, get like eight kills with like six headshots and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, I have to say so. And he's like, Okay. Well, he's using this gun as if it was the regular stock rifle. He's in the back, and he's not really utilizing the. Um, the effectiveness of this uh, weapon here, but he, you know, we're gonna see like, is he gonna be more aware? Is he going to do that? So he's still in the scope, you know, he sees people away, uh, still holding it. And here, here's another problem with that, which we, which Val pretty much, you know, discovered with the Medigun, is that when you ho have to hold down the key, it affects your mouse movement. If you hold it down for too long, if you're gonna camp with this weapon, you're constantly pushing down your mouse button. And that can alter your aim and like give you wrist injuries or something, I don't know. But instead of like having it like this, so. Because Valve realized that, man, if a medic has to hold down the button all the time to heal, that is really bad, so we're gonna make it a toggle. And then they're like, a, couple, a few years later, they're like, yeah, let's make a gun that does that, where you have to hold it. Even though we, we fixed it so that we realized it's a bad idea to hold the key, but you still have to hold the key. Because it's the classic, it was like what it was in the old days. Well, in the old days it was good, this one is just shit. Because it's a different game and you shouldn't have old, ge old weapons in your new game. That doesn't fit. This doesn't fit. Because the problem is... Once you're fired, you have no way of quick scoping anyone, because that was like the sniper mechanic. Sniper is really powerful. You can do that 150 damage scope headshot, but here it's like you have to wait really long, and you're not really scary, and there's a lot of downtime, and you have to hold down the button a lot, and that doesn't make you any better. As you can see, this guy here has been missing. Oh, checking his back for the spies. Yes. So that's what I mean by good game sense, right? Like, you don't really need to check what's on your side, because he has uh, teammates on the roof. Oh, yeah, speaking of spies, whoop, yeah, there you go, heard it, he's like, yeah, spies around here, all right. So, I'm a gangster, a bandit. So, there we go, and, um, choose the medic, well, can't really do that. And, uh, yeah. At this point in time, he would have a much greater success using any other rifle but this one. Even the Sydney Sleeper, he would have gotten more stuff done with the Sydney Sleeper. That is sad for this weapon. Usually when people, like, when Valve introduced the rocket launcher, you know, for uh, the original, that thing is exactly the same as the rocket launcher, the original. Exactly the same, except some trivial shit about not being able to jump from the exact same place and the rocket jumps are slightly off or something like that. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, okay, finally, finally, all right, after whatever time, it's gonna be moving up, and here is the thing. With teamwork. Teamwork. That's the right one. With teamwork, this sentry will spot anything on the roof so he doesn't need to check his side. However, he can because he has his weapon. He's gonna run around like he's shit his pants, like, oh, shoot more pants. And he's gonna be walking around and then there's a slide. He's gonna be charging and then he's gonna be looking to the side. Oh, yes, gets the soldier. Oh, yeah, look at all his kills. Base jumper! What does this get? I get this out of my face. We can't allow that to have that here. So, oh, there's a medic! Ah, oh, we uh, we wounded him, and we missed. That's so uh, he got away. Ugh. Did not get to kill. Oh, okay, can't shoot him in the air. Yes, we got him. We got him. We got him. He made the mistake of coming back. So yeah, we're still able to look around and use his weapon to, to do so. And oh, yeah, nothing there. Okay. Mm, yep, yeah, still nothing there. We got people on the roof. So let's try and shoot some of these guys. Let's try and go. Oh, nope, missed. Okay, okay, still nobody there. And, oh. So I guess you could argue, like, yeah, you can do with this thing, but... Not really doing much. He's looking at the people you could potentially kill. Ah, yes, gets the splat on the scout. The enemy team's not doing too well. So there we go, just... 
waiting around. Oh, checking out nobody there. Oh, the soldier. Ah, I missed a darn. All right, let's wait a bit before I can make another attempt. Okay. And darn. All right, still over on the right side. And shoot. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, charge. Another charge. Oh, they're getting close. Whoa. Okay. And oh, okay. Fall back. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Charge. Get back into the secure position. I mean, the, the forward frontal position was a bit scary, but now we're gonna resume. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be ballsy. All right, so let's do the charge again. Charge and boom! Yes, we got him. Or we hit him rather. And, uh... Oh, the sentry shot something. I mean, something's up there. I trust in our engineer to that he knows what he's doing. Uh, oh no, we missed. Yeah, darn it. Mm. Well, as you can see in this replay so far, it, it, like it doesn't matter what gun he's using, because if you know map design, you know that this area is just the same here as it is unscoped. It doesn't really make any sense. Ah, yes, getting the kill on the Dell man. Those safe kills and oh shit, the sentry's gone. Did you notice? Because when you turn and look, you actually have to look. It's not enough to turn. Okay, you just, you actually have to look. Even though you see a lot of pros, they turn around really quickly. That's because they, they check very quickly, but they actually look. They just don't turn. That also goes for checking your back for spies. You, it's not enough to, to just turn around. You actually have to look. So there's 30 seconds left, that means uh, everybody on the blue team is suddenly going to play like actual players and start attacking. Did, did you guys hear that? Because there was a reason I stopped talking. Okay. Go back 20 seconds in time. Engineer dies. Even though you have the power to look around, it doesn't fucking help, because it wouldn't have changed anything. Because you lack the timing and the speed and the power for this weapon to actually do something about it, because, like I said, always less damage or the same. And it only does the same when it's fully charged. And if you were fully charged and you're going for fully charged shot, you should be either using the Machina or the, st the Sleeper. Is what you should do. But here we go, am I back on Gold Rush? The most promising lasts of all time. And oh, there's a soldier up there. Alright, let's shoot him and yeah, okay. Helping him, my team, taking him out. I'm out a lot. Straight into the side, grabbing health. And uh, you see, we, we got our eyes here, so we're paying attention. Play with my Mu model off, so it looks like uh, this. No gun at the moment. There we go, I'm taking him out. And trying to get the medic, but we can't kill him because if you want to kill a medic, you have to be fully charged with the bot shot. There's a soldier up there, which we really can't do anything with. Really just can't. And we just die. So, it's like, isn't it like, well, isn't. Soldiers supposed to kill snipers? Yeah, but you should be able to put up a little bit of a fight, shouldn't you? Okay, but here's my favorite part. Shooting against crouch and jump jitters. Because they really don't know how to handle this weapon. Because, like, I wish this weapon was like, oh yeah, like, 10% more body shot damage, but... 
30% less headshot damage, Woo, something like that. So it'd be like a body shot is done uh, uh, in a dream and a body shot hater's nightmare. No, we got like 10% uh, damage always. No headshots until fully charged because talent. There we go, and we're gonna be looking around the side here. And oh yes, killing a sniper. A actually, uh, when you play Badwater, there's actually no reason for you to stand here as a sniper at all. There's no reason whatsoever. Stand here. Much better. Or even here, we're next to the sentry. Because the only thing that can happen is that you get counter sniped by a sniper. And what can the other sniper s see if he stands here? Well, he sees you. And nothing else. So the sniper has to either go like around here in the tunnel or some shit, or go here and shoot up here. So if you just stand next to the sentry, you can have a sentry in front of you. Helping you. So there's actually no reason to stand here. Just a fun fact. But we do it anyway to get the frags and to get the kills and the glories and the... 360 no-scopes, which you can do. Shoot him in, in the dick. Gets the splat. And a headshot. There we go. Trying to get the medic. So it's like, yeah, well, what's going on? So. Sniper's getting taken out. And using the SMG because why not? Oh no, we need health. Grab the health. All right. Charging, 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 charging. Splatting on the pyro. Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's take a look here at the battle. Oh, yeah, I think I actually killed him. Never mind. Later. Forgot when he came. Oop. Taking the tunnel. Shooting people at the edge of the tunnel. Doing the splats. Very nice. There we go. Doing this. Yeah, the sniper's not there. Really. So we're just doing this. Like, looks pretty hard to hit. Oh yeah, there he is. All right, there he is. All right, slow it down. So we have some some guy here who Razorback Veil jumps and crouch after every shot. This is what it looks like for him. Tries to shoot us. Here's the jump jitter. Yep. We body shot him. He can't hit us. We take a rocket and some fire. It's a jump jitter again. Oh, we killed him. There we go. And then grab the health. Nice work to buy the pirate with the reflex, though. That's gonna be pretty hard, but we are doing the body shots. And then, like... Like, this is when I... This is when I thought I had an epiphany. I was like, wait! This weapon is actually really good if you just scope. Engine no scope body shot, but you do a little bit less damage, but it's easier to hit. But every other rifle does 10% more damage and doesn't slow you down when you shoot. It doesn't even do body shots correctly. It doesn't even do those good. It doesn't do anything good. It does everything bad. Makes me sad. My rhymes are no crimes. Three, two, one. All we can do is, oh well, my friend shot him in the head. There we go. The, uh, I will note that the old rifle from Team Fortress Classic, if you shot somebody in the leg, they got a leg shot and they got slowed. Are we gonna implement that? No, of course not, because whenever there's slow involved or stun, people freak the fuck out. So we're gonna do another charge here on Yukon, which is a good map. And I'm gonna shoot some stuff over there. Just waiting for stuff. Eh, not gonna happen. So we're just gonna do this, because this is fun. Alright, here we go. So we see. Oh, we see that's not. We missed, alright. One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. We have to wait until we shot that guy. But we killed him regardless. We have to wait. 
heavy. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, missed. All right, charge. And then we wait until it's fully charged and... Uh, uh, yeah, I got him. Okay, then we charge and... Okay, uh, charge up and... Oh, going trying for the medic. Can we get him? No. Oh, it's a soldier and we're dead. I will say though, this weapon is good for one thing and one thing only, and that is uh, crafting other weapons or hats. So I'm just gonna fast forward to something I found a bit amusing here on Harvest. I'm using it exactly the same as before. I'm just gonna stand here in the corner and hide. Back. All right. Ends in 30 seconds. No fun allowed. Too bad. He's hanging out. Trying to shoot stuff. Five, four, three, two. Really over time. Look who's back. Oh, juggle. At least it makes for a good story. Yeah, there's one time I was using this uh, budget weapon and uh, I juggled an engineer, shot him in the penis, then he went flying, and then um, I whacked him and died to a sentry. Isn't that an interesting story? I think this goes on. Yeah, there we go. And he's like, this weapon is not bad. It's actually pretty good. And I said, goes is on. You are not good, so this weapon can't possibly any good, if you say so. Misconceptions is what I think it is, because... This weapon doesn't do anything well, like I've established before. It doesn't do body shots well, doesn't do headshots well. The, the fact that you can charge and um, in and out of uh, scoped headshots is more gimmicky than helpful. There you go. I'll watch goes on and see what he does with this. This is not okay. He's gonna. Yeah, got the pyro. Yeah. Is he gonna move? Be moving forward? Can he move forward? Is there anything going on? Well, there's a sentry. So if he actually moved forward and stood here, he can shoot at the gun. But he's not. He's just gonna hang out here. It's the. Uh, issue of most snipers is that they never attack when they should. People in front of you, no enemies to shoot, like you have friendlies in front of you and there's no one to shoot, you move up. And eventually that's what he does. Yeah, he's a bit late, but he goes... There we go. This one's gonna be a bit long, so let's speed it up. Just back. Oh, no, a spy! Spy. Oh, yeah. Throw it ready. Oh, no. Okay, we got him. No, 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 no. So I'm just hanging out. And this replay is actually showing you that you Gozizan didn't actually contribute anything whatsoever. This round. Well, he did shoot them out of the air, but uh, I wouldn't be able to do too much anyway. Here comes Pyro. Shoot him. And there's nothing to shoot. Alright, then you push the cards. Alright, charge. He's not even gonna push. He's just gonna stand there and watch the nothing that approaches. Nothing. Okay, he's gonna go to the front this time. He's gonna absolutely. He's gonna throw to Jurati and go to the front and charge. And ah uh, yes, got the gun. Got the gun. Oh, there's another sniper. Let me take care of that real quick. I just um, let you kill him and kill the NG. Yeah. It's another NG. They have no guns up. So they're screwed. And they won. 
Those designs could have not been there and it wouldn't be any different. So, Gozan comes to the realization that this weapon is absolutely bad and what you should do if you're using this weapon is use the other weapons you have. Mainly the melee. And Jurati and the Bushwhacker. Which is the melee. So, he's gonna go a bit on tour. Going on a tour. It's a sniper kill him with the knife. It's a chance. Got your idea out. Boom, 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 approach. It's called Drogue. Boom, 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 throwing to try. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of backs up with the Bushwhacker. Boom, 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 boom. Hits him right in the face. Boom, 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 boom. Has the classic, hasn't used it yet. Just gonna use it now. Boom, 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 boom. But walking around like he's shit his pants. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't shoot. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, a soldier. Boom, 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 boom. Can't shoot because he got juggled in here. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna use the bushwhack and Jurati boom, boom, throws to Jurati boom, 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 going on the flank boom, 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 boom. Doesn't even hit him. Pyro soul is killing what a fucking asshole boom, 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 boom. Other sniper souls using the melee, realizing it's better that melee than using the rifle boom, 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 boom. See if another sniper is gonna try and shoot him boom, 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 Missed this when he wasn't moving boom, 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 boom. Then there's someone to shoot. Exactly, and I shoot him in the dick. He's not gonna throw Jurati anymore. How long is this replay? Sees the fire. Pyro doesn't pay attention. Takes him out. I think you get the idea. And then he runs around and just jumps up here and he shoots and Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not this! Anything but this one! It's too much. Too much for anyone to handle. Alright, so he's gonna be close on and we got... Oh! Wait. Oh shit! Victory goes to this guy! Yay! So with that, we're going to go into the last replay. Hopefully I've conveyed to you the issues with the classic, and that is the mere design of the weapon, because we already had it. And, uh, to finish this off, it's going to be Gozizan. Talking to people in uh, spawn who keeps inhaling their, uh, their gases from their petrol tanks on the flamethrower. Alright. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, all right. Gonna be charging the shot. Charging the shot, and boom! Yeah, we shot something. We shot something. Good. All right, let's charge it again, and use this weapon like it was the stock rifle. Yeah. Standing in the back, staying in scope, and trying to shoot this gun. Boom! Yeah. And the boom. Nice, taking out the gun. Things are looking up. Things are nice. I'm seeing some sniper dots on the wall. Not sure if Ghost is unnoticed, but he's being very careful, standing in the back and using this weapon as if it was the stock rifle. And he sees there's a gun up there, and uh, nine more. Just the scouts are actually able to run there. It's a nice little indicator. If a friendly friendly is running somewhere where you saw a gun and the gun's not shooting, either it's a spy or the gun's gone. Or maybe it's both. The gun is gone and it is a spy. Goes on checking his back for spies, even though the enemy doesn't have any. So if he was wearing the Razorback, he'd be a fucking idiot, but he's not. He's using Jujurati. Enemy team doesn't have a spy, so that's fine. Razorback users will never know, because they just go, Well, oh, the reason they don't have any spies is because they know they can't stab me. Case in point. Uh, this is the engineer. What was that? That's a sp scout! Get the scout! Mr. K, you get this. I'll help with this gun that I crap. Okay, good. We got him. Jarati. So now, who's on his gun? I like to not move forward despite not being able to shoot anything. Ah, yes, a lone dude. And 
And he's like, alright, cool, I'm gonna eventually move up. Eventually getting there. Doing the jump charge, which is fine, doesn't really matter, because there's no one to shoot. Well, there we go, it was one thing, but uh, those are pyro versus a heavy, and the heavy had the cart, and the pyro is bad against heavies and carts. So, there you go. So, we're gonna be moving up ever so slightly. Oh, there's a soldier down there, I think we've seen him before. Oh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna miss this, what he's gonna do, fucking dumbass. What do you think you're gonna do? Are you cool? Think you're cool with that weapon? Jumping around like a hooligan? There we go, taking out that mini. Yeah, easy operation. And oh no. Oh no. Oh, is this. Is this. Is this bad? Alright, okay, cool. Get on the cart. Get on the cart. Oh, there's a soldier. He's back. Oh, he's in the air. Oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay, it only took five of us. He, he can't really do any damage. Alright. This goes on. Alright, so I'm just. I'm trying. Oh, God! One more time, we'll make it more funny. Just hold on. Hold on. Alright, so this goes on. That's the pyro. Oh, there's a shot. Boink! And he goes. And that's gonna be the end of this weapon. Jesus Christ, is this thing a load of bad? Bad design and bad stats and plays like ass and is never good at anything ever. Because we we already have it. It's the Huntsman is the classic. It hurts my soul. Anyway. Next week. It's gonna be the backscatter, I think that's what it's called. It's the new weapon they had for the scout. There we go. This is the one. Submit replays of that. I know submitting replays has become harder lately with less and less servers running replays and uh, hopefully we will find some good ones that still do this because replays are great for us. So yeah, only uh, you only have to use the backscatter. You can use other unlocks too, but you just have to use that weapon. So we're gonna see if it's any good. It's definitely better than the uh, classic, that's for sure. I think the only two weapons that are worse than the the classic is currently the Eureka effect and the Razorback. That's like the lower tier of that. Maybe Liberty Launcher as well. So yeah. Also, there's links below if you're watching this on YouTube with Steam Group and all that stuff. Thank you for watching.